Hey everybody, Holiday here. I have a quick video on the slime finder and how to use it and where to find it. Uh, the easiest way to find it, I just go up here into my toolbar, enter in slime finder. It pops up the, uh, we'll do that for you right now. It pops up this right here, first one. Um, I go right to that, click slime finder. There you go, it pops up the page. There's another one out there. Uh, I've seen it once, but I've never used it. This is the one I use. Uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward. All you do is you go right here and you enter in your map seed. And then from here, you got set coordinates boundaries for area to check. Leave central point and distance blank. This right here, I don't use this. Um, I suppose if more of you guys are you know well versed in this and know you know exactly what you're doing and everything. You could use that. Uh, I just use this. I go from 0 to 150. On both of them. And then, you know, you don't want to go too big with this number. Because, as you'll see here in a minute, the screen is only so big that it's going to produce them on. So, you go search for slimes. And then, right here, this is going to pop up. It's going to ask you if you want it to allow it. I have no problem allowing this to happen. Because I trust it. Um... If you do not feel comfortable doing this, don't. I am in no way responsible for anything that happens to your computer. You were, you know, you use this. It, it's user, user beware, basically. Um, if your computer antivirus protection isn't all that strong, um, and you don't feel safe using this, don't use it. Uh, I doubt there's going to be anything in here that uh, is malicious, but I am not responsible for anything that happens to your computer if there is. But I'm going to click allow. And there you go. It bring, you know it brings up uh, brings up the section from zero to one hundred and sixty. I mean, I guess you could go to one hundred and sixty up here as opposed to going to one hundred and fifty. I just go to one hundred and fifty just because it works. Um, no sense going any bigger. It gives me what I want. You know, and it's only going to pull up. You know, from far as I can tell, anyways, it's, it's only going to pull up this big of a screen. If you go any bigger, it'll just it won't load. You know, as we can tell, you know, we'll go right here. We'll go up and. Uh, We'll go 300 and see what happens. Normally it won't load. Watch, it's going to load for me because I'm trying to show you guys. Oh, look at that. It loaded. Um, It loaded. I'll be damned. <laughs> okay, I guess you could do that. Uh, you can go bigger, but then it does not give you the, uh, the coordinates. So there's the problem with that. So just go back down to... We'll go back down to 150, and then we'll search for them in that way. And see that way, the difference it brings up the uh, brings up the coordinates. So I mean, technically you could go bigger, but it doesn't give you the coordinates. I mean, if you feel like doing the math, go ahead. Um, <laughs> but I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So I just go 150. Uh, you can go, you know. You can go, let's say we'll go 150 to 300. You do that in both sections. And that will hit you, uh, that will get you another section of the map. As you can see in this section, you know, you could dig for days out here and never find a slime. And that is why, it, you know, they are rare. You know, as you can tell by this, uh, as you can tell by these maps as we go, you know, these, uh, these graphs as we go through here, if you want grids, whatever you want. Um, they are kind of rare. Uh, the chances of you just stumbling upon one, if you're, you know, say you're out in this area, you're not going to find one. And that's just, you know, the nature of the game. But uh, with this app, it kind of takes all the guessing work out of it for you and, you know, shows you where they are. So as far as uh, the Xbox is concerned, you, uh, you're not going to want to go any more than 512 just because the map's not any bigger. I mean, you could technically go bigger, and it's not going to hurt anything if you have the PC game. But you know, now I went from uh, I went from 300 to 450, and you know, you you would have a better chance. You know, if you just happen to be digging the, in this area, you're going to have a better chance of running across them. You know, so you know, you can go. Like I said, you can go as big as you want, but it's not going to give you the coordinates. But as long as you uh, keep it keep it within the 150 block increments and it'll uh 
it seems to work just fine. Uh, you can go, like I said, you can go up to, we'll go up to the max that this game can do for the Xbox anyways. And we'll show you what that looks like. And seeing that our numbers now are only, uh, they're only at 62. You know, we only have to show 62 squares. So it's showing a smaller, closer up grid. And so, I mean, I guess if you, uh, if you want to do that and you only want to search the one section you're in, you could do that, you know, just enter in a small coordinates and that'll show you it. You know, there's two of them in that area. Now we can take this back down to, let's say 400. And that's going to give us a bigger section of the map that they're in. You know, you, so you can, you can use that. I mean, you can use this any way you want guys. So there you go. That's it. Um, you know, donate if you feel so inclined to donate. Check out this guy's YouTube channel and, uh, you know, thank him because he's the one that, uh, he's the one that put this up here. So <laughs> there you go. Take it easy, guys.